God wants and needs us to be encouraged. God also wants us to reach out. Remember, to be an encourager is more than just saying, I want to be an encourager. You've got to be encouraged yourself. Remember David? He's Ziglag. His guys, when they come back, he was fighting for the enemy. They had messed up. They're fighting for the enemy. And while they're fighting for the enemy, some more enemy comes and takes their families away. And the guys weep until they can't weep anymore. Now they're ready to stone David. They're ready to take him down. And the Bible says everything turned around when David encouraged himself in the Lord. Once he turned around, encouraged himself, they went back and recovered all. Got everything back within a matter of, of a few days. He was king of Israel, of Judah, I mean. Later of Israel, too. Every head bowed, every eye closed. If you're here today, Pastor, I, I don't know Jesus. I can't be encouraged in him anymore because I'm not a part of his family. I don't know Jesus as my personal Savior. And I want to because I need that encouragement. But nobody look around every eye closed, but just stick up that hand and say, pray for me. I, I need Jesus. I need him. If you're here right now and you would say, not where I used to be. And I want to be an encourager, but I need encouragement. And I want to get back where I belong with God. I had that one. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Would you raise that hand so I can get closer? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus, let them know that you've got something special in store for them. That discouragement comes just before something good. Let them know that this discouraging time is going to be very powerful on the other end if they just give it to God. Maybe you're here and you just need encouragement. You just need encouragement. Right now, the altars are going to be open. The altars are open. You can come and pray. All that will come and pray. Come and pray. All that will. Come and pray. Come and pray. God's called us to be encouragers. God's called us to make differences in people's lives. We gotta let Him make a difference in our life first. God, let me be a part of us. Let me be a part of us. We think about how awesome Paul was. But you know what? So wouldn't have been a Paul without a part of us. We read the book of Mark all the time. And you don't realize there may not have been a book of Mark if there had not been a part of us. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Part of us. Some even think that maybe part of us was the one that wrote the book of Hebrews. God, let me be an encourager. Let me be an encourager. Let me be an encourager. <clears throat> Let me make a difference in people's lives. And know that anytime I get discouraged, anytime, it's on the eve of a breakthrough. Satan wants to stop the breakthrough. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Glory.
God, I want to be an encourager, don't you? God, remember, think about it. Without Barnabas, there may not have been a Paul. Without Barnabas, there wouldn't have been a Mark. And between Mark and Paul, they wrote well over three quarters of the New Testament. Wow. So Barnabas' is, Barnabas is autograph may not be at the end of all those books, but Barnabas' is fingerprints are everywhere. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Come back to Zach. We're talking about our identity. We've been talking about grief. Now we're going to talk about identity. Who we are in Christ. First, we're going to talk about different types of identity. So, because uh, I let them even ask a very broad, very good question. So we're going to start. We're going to start with her question, and then we're going to move into who we are in Christ. And so it's Tuesday night. We've been having a wonderful time. You can stop and ask questions. Uh, I just get here and sit down, and we talk, and I uh, give you outlines, and, and we go through the outline. If you want to stop and talk, we stop and talk. So Tuesday night's been very, uh, very educational because I've had people tell me uh, we I think six weeks on suicide prevention, and people were using it to help friends and to help the people that they knew, and, and on grief to help others and even help themselves. So, so this stuff is good stuff, real good stuff. So now it's our identity in Christ. And so you all count on what you say, Lord, help me to rub people the right way. Amen. <laughs> Help me to rub them. I was like, we represent the life. I'm you, remember those guys? <laughs> All right, 